Eov, Job 4. Then Eliphaz the Temani answered and said, If we essay to commune with you, will you be grieved? But who can withhold himself from speaking? Behold, you have instructed many, and you have strengthened the weak hands. Your words have upholden him that was falling, and you have strengthened the feeble knees. But now it is come upon you, and you faint. It touches you, and you are troubled. Is not this your fear, your confidence, your hope, and the uprightness of your ways? Remember, I pray you, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. By the blast of Eloah they perish, and by the breath of his nostrils are they consumed. The roaring of the lion, and the voice of the fierce lion, and the teeth of the young lions are broken. The old lion perishes for lack of prey, and the stout lion's whelps are scattered abroad. Now a thing was secretly brought to me, and my ear received a little thereof. In thoughts from the visions of the night, when deep sleep falls on men, fear came upon me, and trembling, which made all my bones to shake. Then a ruach passed before my face, the hair of my flesh stood up. It stood still, but I could not discern the form thereof. An image was before my eyes. There was silence, and I heard a voice saying, Shall mortal man be more than just? Rather, shall mortal man be more just than Eloah? Shall a man be more pure than his maker? Behold, he put no trust in his servants, and his angels he charged with folly. How much less in them that dwell in houses of clay, whose foundation is in the dust, which are crushed before the moth. They are destroyed from morning to evening. They perish forever without any regarding it. Does not their excellency which is in them go away? They die even without wisdom.